Hello, hello, everyone. Hello, guys. How are you guys on today? Guess what? Guess what time it is? It is story time with Miss Doris. I am so, so excited to be reading you guys a book on today. I missed you guys. I hope you guys had an awesome, awesome, safe weekend. I hope you had an awesome, awesome, safe weekend. My weekend was very, very, very busy. So we didn't do story time on Friday. But guess what? I have an awesome book for us on today. I'm going to give moms and dads a couple of seconds so they can go ahead on and tune in to story time. And those of you that's going to be tuning in, <coughs> catching the replay of story time. Don't forget to share story time with your family, family, and friends. Well, guess what? I'm going to go ahead on and get started. I would like to say hello, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and to some good night. Someone is going to bed somewhere in the world, but guess what? And today, you are just in time for story time with Miss Doris. I have an exciting book for us today. Today's book we're going to be reading is... Pete the Cat and the Bad Banana. Pete the Cat and the Bad Banana. This is a hardbound book and it's written by James Dean. James Dean. This is, book is written by James Dean. And guess what? Today's color is going to be the color yellow. The color of the banana. The color of the banana is the color yellow. And guess what? We have our yellow card. This sign, this square on this card is a yellow rectangle. This is a yellow rectangle. I'm going to go ahead on and give a few shout outs before we go ahead on and get started with our story. I'd like to say hello to you. Hello, Shanae. Hello, Royal. Hello, August. Hello, Andrew. Hello, Aria. Hello, Harmony. Tanelia. Hello, Boss. I'm in Louisiana. Hello, Boss. How are you? I'm today. Hello, Yuri. Hello, Rome, London. And let's see. Seppi, Carter, Caden, Aries. Hello, guys. Hello, Samario. Guess what, guys? Samario celebrated his first birthday on Saturday. Wow, did we have a blast. And guess what? We also celebrated our pastors and wives, Pastor and Elect Lady Washington, sixth church anniversary. We had a blast. It was really, really wonderful. Well, guess what? So far with that, with all those good, good, good announcements. Well, I know you guys love that story time song. But remember, when we're doing that story time song, make, make sure that you are practicing safety, safety first at all times. We don't want you guys hurting yourself. Hello, BJ. Hello, Brother Ruben. Hello, Sister Linda. Lakeisha, J. Marie, hello guys, how are you? I hope you guys are having an awesome, awesome Monday. Hello, Michael Elliott, hello, TM, hello, Tony, hello, artists. I hope you're having an awesome day. Well, guess what? There's that story time song. I love that song. It's story time. I can't hear you guys singing. Story time with Miss Doris. I'm so excited. Story time with Miss. Hello, Shakana. Shakana, I hope you're feeling much, much better. Are you feeling well on today, Shakana? I hope so. It's story time. Story time with Miss. It's story time. It's story time, guys. And I'm drinking cranberry juice on today. Wow, that was awesome. I heard you guys singing so, so loud. Oh, wow, I'm so glad you're feeling better. Shakana, thank you, thank you so much. I'm glad you're feeling better, Shakana. I'm so sorry you didn't get to joy yourself. At the birthday party this weekend but guess what it's okay there'll be other parties where you can go and have fun but I'm so glad and excited that you are feeling much much better that's such a blessing well our today's color is going to be the color yellow 
This color is the color of a banana. The banana is the color yellow. So today's color is the color yellow. What color are you wearing on today? Let's get started with our story. I hope you guys are having an awesome lunch. Go ahead on and have a seat while Miss Doris read you a story. Pete the Cat and the Bad Banana. Pete the Cat and the Bad Banana. <clears throat> Cat is eating a banana. Pete loves bananas. They are sweet and tasty and easy to peel. Every morning, Pete puts a banana in his cereal. Sometimes, Pete puts a banana on his peanut butter sandwich. But one day, Pete eats a bad banana. There's the banana. He's putting it in his cereal and on his sandwich. The banana is gross. The banana is mushy. The banana is yucky. Pete's tummy hurts. I will not eat bananas again. Pete tells his mother. Uh oh, there's the bad banana. Pete mom tries to help him. She bakes Pete's favorite banana bread. Pete will not touch it. She makes Pete a banana cream pie, but Pete will not eat it. She's making all his favorite things and he will not eat it. He's so upset he's eating a bad banana. That's just what to do. She gets Pete a big banana split. Yum, yum. I love banana splits. No thanks, Pete says. There's his banana split. Story time with the banana split. Yum, yum. Instead, Pete tries a lemon. Hmm, it is yellow like a banana. Pete tastes it. Yuck, says Pete. The lemon is sour. Oh my goodness, you can't substitute a lemon for a banana. That will never, ever work. And guess what color the lemon is? The lemon is our color for today, which is the color yellow. Pete tries a pickle. It is long like a banana. Pete tastes it better, Pete says, but not as good as a banana. Hello, so-so. How are you? Wow, you're awesome. Yes, the color yellow. Yellow is our color for today. Well, Pete tried a um, pickle. He thinks that's going to work, but I don't think so. Pete tries an orange. It has to be peeled like a banana. The orange is sweet, but it is too juicy. It makes Pete's paws sticky. Pete tries fish, plums, rice, hot dogs, Watermelon, yum, yum. I love watermelon. I bet you guys love watermelon too. And his mom's nut bread. Pete eats them all. He's not hungry for bananas anymore. Whoa, he had a hot dog, watermelon. He had lots of things. His mom was awesome to get his mind off that bad banana, what he had eaten. 
Then comes the big race. What should Pete have for breakfast? A pickle? No, Pete doesn't eat pickles for breakfast. Story time with Miss. There's his pickle. Look at his huge tennis shoes. A hot dog? No, Pete just had a hot dog for dinner last night. A lemon? No, that's silly. There's his hot dog and there's a lemon. Well, they're at the start line. Pete wants a banana. They're yummy, yummy and healthy. Bananas are the best. Do you have another banana, Pete asks. Of course, says Greg the monkey. And they are at the start line. Oh my goodness, are you wondering what kind of contest is he about to get into? Story time. Bananas are very healthy. Pete peels the banana slowly. Hmm, is it not brown? Is it not mushy? Pete takes a teeny, teeny, tiny, tiny bit. Is it a yummy banana? Is it the best banana ever? Hmm, I don't know. We'll see. Well, there he goes, peeling his banana. Then he takes a really, really tiny, tiny bite. He wants to make sure that this is a good banana. Thanks to Greg and his banana, Pete wins the race. Yes! Pete is bananas for bananas. Wow, awesome job, Pete. I'm so glad Pete didn't give up the race because he had eaten a bad banana. A bad banana. But guess what? Mom did everything she possibly could to get him to eat bananas again. And he finally did. Bananas are good for us. Bananas are fruits. So, and they are really, really good. That was an awesome story today, talking about bananas. If you see a bad banana, and maybe mom or dad doesn't realize that banana is bad, just bring it to their attention. And if something is bad to eat, I assure you that mom and dad or nanas and papas, they will never, ever force you to eat something that is bad so if they tell you to get a fruit and you go to get it and it looks bad to you you don't have to eat it because they told you to just bring it to their attention that this is a bad fruit and i'm sure they would love for you to get something else that was an awesome awesome story and today we don't want you getting sick for eating from eating something bad like Pete did in our story today. Pete had eaten a bad banana and he was just really, really kind of upset. But guess what? He wasn't feeling well. But mom did everything in her power to make him smile again. And guess what? He did smile again at the end. Today's color was the color yellow. I enjoyed you guys. Remember, if you're not feeling well, always, always let someone know that you're not feeling well. And they will take really, really good care of you. Like Shekana this weekend. She was at a party. She wasn't feeling well. So we knew something was wrong. Because she wasn't playing in the play area with all the kids at the amusement park. She loves to play and sing and have fun. But guess what? She wasn't feeling well and we knew it because she was in the pizza area just sitting in her chair. I'm glad you're feeling well, Shekana. And guys, remember, when you're out playing or once you're done eating your favorite, favorite fruit, make sure that you are washing and sanitizing your hands at all, all times because we don't want you guys getting sick. I want you to enjoy your summer. Enjoy 
your summer. And when you're still out in public, make sure when mom and dad give you your mask to put on, make sure you are wearing your mask at all times. And you don't take your mask off unless someone tells you to. You guys were awesome on today. I enjoyed reading you a story. I hope you had an awesome, awesome weekend. Well, guys, today is Monday. Tomorrow is Tuesday. See you on tomorrow. And guess what? Don't forget to smile. Miss Doris has a smile. I have a huge, huge smile. Just for you on today. I hope you're smiling. Take care.